Welcome to my first Theta Dev vlog. In this format I'm talking about the projects I'm working on and today's video is about a DIY home automation system. Why home automation? Well this smart home trend has been around for some time. I found it quite interesting and especially with the rise of cloud based home assistants like Google Home and Amazon Echo it became really quite convenient and useful. For example being able to turn on the lights without walking to the switch can come quite handy. Why DIY when there are lots of commercially available solutions out there? Yeah, most of the commercial systems are either ridiculously expensive, inconvenient or unreliable. Nobody, especially no student, wants to pay 40 euros for a single light switch and the cheaper for 33 megahertz or Wi-Fi based systems aren't the best either. If you're controlling your home from the internet, you want to get a feedback from your switches which the 433 megahertz devices can't give. And the Wi-Fi switches consume about 1.5 watts of standby power each to maintain their connection. The DIY solution that I chose only costs about 5 euros per device, is quite power efficient and reliable. How does the DIY solution work? It's based on my sensors, which is an open source smart home system based on Arduino, Raspberry Pi and other easily available electronics components. Each device or a node consists of an Arduino connected to a radio module and the sensor or actor you want to control. The provided MySensors Arduino library enables the devices to form a wireless network according to this schematic here. The central node of the network is the gateway which is connected to for example a Raspberry Pi of course connected to the internet and equipped with smart home service software to control the whole network. Then there are a lot of sensor or actor nodes which collect data and control various things around your house. My sensors also gives you the option to configure a sensor node as a repeater so it can pass signals to other nodes further away. However the radio modules that we use have quite a long range so unless you're having a huge property you won't need them but the option is there. Here are the circuits I've designed based on the examples on the My Sensors website and a bit of experience collected by making a few breadboard prototypes. Here you can see the circuits that I've designed. This circuit here is for the Raspberry Pi gateway, so the module that just stacks on top of your Raspberry Pi and connects the Pi to the uh, My Sensors network. It's based around a Atmega 328P microcontroller. It includes a RF module which is the RFM69HW. It also has a programming port so that we can flash some firmware on this microcontroller. It has uh, some uh, buttons to um, control it and a um, dual color LED so that we can uh, see whether this thing is uh, transmitting or whether there is an error. Then uh, there is a tiny voltage regulator which regulates the 5 volt from the um, Raspberry Pi down to 3.3 volt which we use for the Arduino and the RF module and then there is uh, the um, serial interface which is used uh, to communicate to the Raspberry Pi. There you can see a uh, LED node which uh, can be used to control any sort of 12 volt LED appliance like LED strips. This also uh, contains Arduino RF module and a uh, button. It features of course a MOSFET to um, switch on and off the um, LEDs. It features an expansion port so you can plug in external potentiometers or buttons to um, control the lights. Then of course we're also having the same vo voltage regulator which uh, steps the uh, 12 volt from the um, LED power supply down to the 3.3 volt which is uh, safe to use with our electronics. I'm also having the same module there with um, four MOSFETs and I'm also have a different module which can control um, various types of uh, sensors. And here is the uh, PCB design that I came up with. Here you can actually see um, the Raspberry Pi gateway. Here the LED module has some screw terminals for the LEDs. The rainbow LED module has a long screw terminal for all the different uh, colored LEDs. And uh, the uh, sensor module of course on the bottom there you can see uh, the spot where the um, RF module goes. So that was the end of my Theta Devlog featuring my smart home project. The next steps would be to get these PCBs manufactured, assemble them, design and print some nice cases for them and of course getting the software ready, testing and hopefully enjoying that new stuff. 
I'll cover these things in further devlogs, so get subscribed if you don't want to miss anything. And I'll see you in my next video.